Hey everybody, Seven here. And thank you so much for joining me in the Oxbow. Man, I feel like I've just failed everyone. It's winter. I feel like I failed. Well, I definitely did fail that guy and his wife. I feel like chairs. I feel like I failed my village. We're barely, barely able to feed ourselves. I think we've got enough firewood coming in, but oh man, at this point, I'm even second guessing that. I've got absolutely no idea if I did this ritual thing right. I mean, was it serious? Was it not? I, I think I laid all of the stuff down in the right order, at least. Uh, stay vigilant. Look for ways to make the Oxbow a better place. I don't think I've been doing that. Man, hell, at this point, I'm even second guessing myself on whether or not I handled the kid right. Oh, jeez. Well, we've got nothing pending. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of things that I can go out and pursue if I want to. Two in Skaki, one in Astoya, two in Klonika. Let's just make sure that we're actually self-sufficient here at the home front. We're, uh, oh boy. We're, we're starting to get kind of a lot of people. It's a lot of people to feed. It's a lot of people needing firewood. And, oh man. Spring had me a little shaky, but fall had me really second-guessing myself. Rasimir would not be impressed. Oh goody, and we've got our first damages. Alright, let's uh let's see what we got going on. Barn and hunting lodge? Nothing looks too bad. Oh, I see it. Okay. Oh, it's broken hunting lodge. Alright, and the hunting lodge also has the roof. Okay. No sweat. Alright, so there's repairs done. Oh, we're flagging for something already. All right. Okay. Yeah. That that flag's going to probably go away. That flag is not going to go away. Okay. We don't have any hose. I'll let you insert your own punchline for that one. Uh, but what we do have is a completely belligerent amount of copper ore. That level six bandit that we just picked up the other day. He has been putting in insane work. So let's just smelt up a bunch. I did mention uh, in the last season here that we do need a lot more production technology. There are some unlocks that we want. There's some buildings that we want. So we, we do need the production. We also could really use the money right now too. Oh, and apparently because everybody started work, they already fixed the whole situation anyway. Although it's still flagging. Alright, I'm not really sure why it's intermittently flagging. No, I, I hey, want the thing. I was using that. Oh, listen, lady. So the blacksmiths making them themselves, plus giving them a, a buffer of five, we should be more than enough on this. Uh, maybe we also make some, some bolts? Oh man, I just, I just feel so gun shy this season. Now we've got plenty of water, at least two, maybe all three days worth of water. We've got wood for, geez, probably a year and a half. I'm not sure how I overproduced so much on the firewood. Food, food's a problem. I would really like to get us on the self-sufficient path for the agriculture, at least. And so we've got this, this empty pigsty that we're going to start paying taxes on next season. We have no pigs living in it. We have nobody working it. Uh, we also don't have the animal feed processing by itself just yet, but I, I really do want us to get agriculturally self-reliant. All right, let's make a little money, make a little technology points, and we'll just buy some pigs, probably put up two more houses so then we can get two more agricultural people. One will be an animal handler for the pigs, and one will go, uh, maybe in the barn? 
Man, I... I really cannot get over just how crazy gun-shy I'm feeling. I mean, I know the stuff with the kid is probably going to rear its head again. And I, I can't help but feel as though what I did with that, that swamp ritual is also going to rear its head at some point. Oh, man, and getting that lady killed. Uh, we got we got to put it all behind us. It's a new day. It's a new season. And we we've got a lot of we got a lot of people relying on us over there. There's a lot of townsfolk that we have now, and we got to we got to get ourselves reliant here. At least that part I can't screw up. But I mean, at least that part, I mostly know what I'm doing. Uh, Yeah, you there. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. How is life? Yes, you. Okay. What? I'm I'm not used to bankrupting you that quickly and easily. All right. Yes, all that. Uh, we'll take all that. Uh, yeah, all that. All that. Um, we can't get all that. Okay, great. That just means more things to sell. Um, we're not actually quite as rich as I expected us to be. I kind of was hoping to walk out of here with about two grand or so at least. Uh, th that's fine. We got we, we got everything that we wanted to get out of this town. Uh, but what we need to find now... Hello. Wait, what? Is someone courting her? What? what? I don't know if you need to keep her away from filthy looks of someone. Wait, lock her. What? Yeah, if you keep acting like this, she's gonna. Uh, wait, wait. Um. Oh, geez. Wait, there might be backstory that I'm not paying attention to. All I really want to do is ask you a question. Uh. Find me a where can I find person. Are you a vendor? No, you're not. How have you been? Lady, I've had better days. Where are the pigs? Klonica. Farewell. Outstanding. I know that there's jobs to do out there. Yeah, okay. All right. We're going to want at least two more agricultural people anyway. Maybe we can... Oh, wait. No, we were building a house up until the wee hours of the morning last night. We probably have nothing for resources. All right, well, we do have a lot of stone. Like a ton, a ton of stone. Not a whole lot of logs, but that's okay. I kind of adjusted him a little bit better again. So they should be coming in pretty well. Maybe we get two houses started. We'll also uh, get the grain that this, uh, this barn worker's gonna need to just be active and productive. Yeah, I'm also noticing that we're getting real on the heavy side here. We're at 650 out of 1,000. And the firewood is actually the problem already. How do we go from not being able to keep our houses warm to now we're suddenly drowning and we're approaching max limit? All right. Farm workers working. Barn workers working. Let me get to work. Like I said, two more houses. We'll, during our travels, try to get two agricultural people. And then we'll maybe try to go out and buy, uh, buy a couple of pigs. Alrighty, let me try to get these two put down, and I'll talk to you guys in a sec. And then we'll go out and... Oh my god, I can't believe I'm saying this. And then we'll go off an adventure. Alright, oh, well, good morning, everyone. Uh, a little late in the morning. Uh, maybe I worked tirelessly through the night to get these two houses put up. And maybe I, you know, relied on a level 6 extractor and uh, a lot of chopping down and gathering my own my own sticks, my own logs, my own everything. Uh, but we did get some skills. So we're maxed out on the damage reduction. And we've got a little bit more health on top of that. So I'm feeling fairly combat effective, I think. You know, I know it was a little touch and go with a few of the bandit fights that we got into, and it's certainly been real touch and go with some of the wildlife fights that we've been into, but... And, okay, yes. Did we spend all of day one and half of day two not even leaving the house? Yes. Well, you know what? Yesterday was a bad day. 
It was, uh, bad omens, bad, bad feelings, bad, um, it wasn't good. Listen, I haven't lost my nerve. I haven't lost my edge. I haven't lost my cool. You know, I, I have not lost anything. Uh, the, it was the, uh, the swamp ghost. It, you know, the, the swamp ghost got me and, uh, you know, it, we got hacked. Yeah. Listen, listen. It was the swamp ghost. It was me. I promise. But we do have two blank houses now, which means we can get two agricultural people and we can get somebody in the pigsty and somebody into eh, either the farm shed or the barn. I either are. Hmm, you're so handsome. Why don't you have a wife? Well, that's very polite. I hope you're a level three agricultural. Uh, level three hunt. Travels Nothing. Are all very well. Nothing. But I would love to finally put down roots. <laughs> Diplomacy of production. That's kind of cool. Uh, what do we got over here? Hunt. Production. Production. Uh, everybody's really good at industry, but... Okay. All right, all right, all right. All right, so we're heading to Klonika for pigs. But there's also two jobs out there. And just to prove that I'm not a coward, you're a coward, you're scared, we're going to take those two jobs. And you know what? We've got a day and a half. So we've got the rest of today, and we've got all day tomorrow. So maybe we'll pick up more jobs. All right, Kalanika, hit me with your worst. Oh, crap. I didn't bring any stuff to sell. And I have no idea how much pigs cost. Also, okay, that that's still happening. But that's okay. Where, where do you guys think pigs will be? Oh, what's this out of town? That's, um... Oh. That's an apiary. That's good to know. This seems like... A very heavily focused uh, lumberjack town. Oh man, what what is this? Why why is it? I was seeing this uh, not last season, but maybe two seasons ago. Why is it so defended? Hello. All right, so I've I've learned my shoot first, ask questions later lesson. How are you? Oh, you're a hunter. See you soon. Oh, man, where the hell are the damn pigs? It's, it, it's starting to get a little late. Okay, it's four o'clock in the afternoon on day two. Nice form, kid. Anyway, where are the pigs? Pigs, please. Pigs? I mean, also, if, if I got close enough, I should be able to hear them, right? Oh, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh my god, 700. We can get, uh, like, one? What? Wait, what's happening here? No item fertilizer. The, the the barn should be working on that. Yeah. Okay. We we, we have some manure at home. All right. Fourteen hundred bucks. That means two adults. All right. Male and female are both the same. Right. Good. Because male cows are cheaper than female cows. Because male cows don't really do anything for you. Okay. We've got two animals that don't have food. That's fine. We'll we'll fix that. Let's let's get these jobs going. Hi there. How have you been? Who buys something old craftsman? Are you alright? You look like you're in pain. I was like, damn, this old age is no joy. And it came to be exceptionally early. Since you're here, would you mind helping a suffering man in need? Yeah, of course. Especially, yeah, seasoned craftsman. My son rads him takes care of me. He promised to provide me with food and medicine, but I haven't seen him for a while. He's a hunter, you know. He must have come across a tough piece of game to hunt. Okay. I guess you want to look for him. No need. If he's busy with work, let's not bother him. Take this pouch, please. These coins are carefully counted. The orchidist in... Uh, needs wal Waldka? Provides me with food for my special diet. And the beekeeper, Miss... Miss Lobra... Prepares my medicines and ointments. Yeah, yeah, I'm off. I am off. I'm going. Hi there. What's going on? May your arrows always be sharp. Oh boy, howdy, thank you. I was troubling, young man. You look concerned about something. Think about me. Greetings to you. Uh, 
Well, have you? Uh, why would that be? I mean, to know you, it's simply your reputation precedes you, and our village owes you a lot of for all the favors. Yeah, I've done okay by your village. Other villages, not so much. Do me an honor and raise a toast with you. You deserve it. All right, how could I refuse? I have a bottle at an outpost just outside the village. The place is not far away. Come. All right, lead the way, my man. Son of the she-wolf. Air full of... Hmm. My mother doesn't approve of drinking. She stretches like a boy. I'm going to post an ideal place for that. It's also a suitable place to have a word in private. Something on your mind, man? I've been to talk with you for some time now. Um, all right, you got me alone. Thank you for joining me. Take us by the meat, accept a toast to the friend of Klonica. To your health and prosperity. Uh, yeah, thanks, man. Uh, to you as well. Now as the iceberg is done, I suppose we should... I should finally introduce myself. Okay. Ms. Gerald Pelk, but some people call me Son of the She Wolf. So we happen to be the heir of the chieftains of our village. Okay. My mother falls over herself to prepare me for the future of a hunter and a village leader. The problem is, I don't really see myself as either of them. The harder she tries to oversee me, the more doubts and flaws I see in my actions. Listen, pal. Listen. I've had a rough couple of days myself. The pressure makes me want to leave this place for good. You, on the other hand, seem to get along well with people, and you're good at fixing their problems. What advice would you give a man in such a quandary? Ooh. I'm going to have to read this for a sec. All right, well, the only one that I'm not particularly in love with is three. Now, granted, a man's got to know his limitations. Clint Eastwood said that one. But to say that meeting everyone else's needs is like trying to stuff a pig, I, I mean, that, that sounds very, very defeatist. And listen, I'm already defeatist enough. Ah, you know, the more I read the top one, that's relying on heritage and bloodline. But this guy's looking for the individual. He's looking for himself. How do I achieve what I need to achieve. And actually, this one kind of resonates with me. Your work may feel an impossible task. You may be Sisyphus pushing up that boulder, but eventually you're just going to smash it. Take your time and do your job well. Thank you. Let's take a sip to that. Does your kin have a long history in these lands? Our family has borne the title of village leader since the very beginning. Last time it was passed in unusual circumstances, though. What? My mother, Slawa, claimed this position after my father, Warmer, went missing. He was the greatest tracker and hunter this land has ever known. I wish I could make him proud. He never hesitated like I do. And I always did what he wanted to. If only I knew him a bit better. Was he that good of a scout? He lost himself in the woods, after all. Well, I wouldn't have said necessarily that. Of course he was. Don't even try to imply anything else. No one could survive that kind of blizzard. My mother says it's the harshest winter she's ever remembered. Let's drink his memory and legacy, then. I can't miss such a worthy toast in memory of my father, but darn, my bottle is empty. I've got some wine hidden around. Fetch some bottles, please, and do the honors. It's one of a kind of workspace you've got here. It's well equipped. Oh, boy. It's, it's another scavenger hunt. Oh, oh, we, we put the points into, okay. Oh, thank you, survival. You put the points into, um, being able to scan. Oh, that's, that's why you put it in. Okay, I had a minor panic for a sec, but here we go. Good job. That should suffice. To the honor of the finest huntsman this land has ever given birth to. And to his son, who will soon follow in his footsteps. <laughs> Tastes worse than I remember. It's the current year. And I must not have properly filtered it. As for the footsteps, that won't be too easy. I've tried countless times. I started these trails over and over. 
I visited his favorite spots and stared at the same stale trees and rocks and hoped that I'd finally feel something. Nothing came but cold shivers and emptiness. Did you give up in the end? I told myself that the northern forest still has something to offer me, and that I might have missed something, but my father has long been gone, and traces of his past slowly wither. This delusion kept me from thinking about leading our village one day. I'm just not ready. I truly believed that the woods would prepare me for the role, just like they hardened my father. Even if I decided to go back there, the area got more dangerous than it used to be. Wild beasts have not been the only dwellers of the forest recently. Bantas and smugglers disturb the peace and scare away the wild game. Curse them. Mm hmm. I've had my run in, my man. In both of our valleys. Oh, I... I see a divergent in the path here. My gamer sense is telling me that one of those is going to say, Oh, go hunt a whole bunch of game. And the other one is going to say, go kill some bandits. And there's nothing more that I love than killing bandits. Don't worry, we're safe here. They usually watch for lonely wanderers. No enemy dares come to this closer village. We're armed and strong. They know that. Ah. Uh, Alright, keep your secrets then. I may scout the forest on my own. No, wait, you can't. I mean, you can't, but I won't. I'll only go along. Come in. Okay. I gotta sit. Wait, you hear that? That's my gut. I need something to chew on if we're gonna keep drinking. Oh man, okay. Give us some of the woodcutter's cheese, would you? Will they mind if I take it? Uh, they may be tough, but they aren't too observant of anything besides work. No one will notice. They stashed away at the camp. Look around. Uh, you, really? Uh, okay. Listen, you live here, so that's one of your neighbors. I mean... Are you sure you're cool with this? I'm trying not to be a thief this time. Also, apparently I'm slightly buzzed, but not, like, falling down drunk drunk. Alright. Sense guide me. Also, none of that was considered stealing. So, alright. I'm, I'm very okay with that. As long as it wasn't stealing, I'm okay. Hey, man. I got us some cheese. Well, I was afraid I was going to die of starvation. Give me those beauties, will you? Uh, yeah, okay, here, take, I'm not proud of borrowing them. They taste just as good as they look. Besides, do not worry about our axe-wielding companions. They're, they're packed with them. So much that the stench never leaves them? Lumberjacks trade wood for goods in Piastovia, but above all, they buy cheese. Their weakness for it makes them blind to the prices they get for their stock. Those stiffs aren't as bright as we cunning hunters are. And always vigilant. Oh, yes. All right, enough talk. Let's take another bottle and have a bite. To our endeavor. You've counted me in. Don't you forget that. Cheers. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna get hammered with this guy. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Gotta get rested before our scout. Where's my pallet? I need to lay down for a while. Let me a hand. Wait, let's hunt it. I'm game. Make sure he gets home. Oh, oh, we're stumbling. Oh, just, just a little bit of stumbly. This is why I play with a controller. Because when you're drunk, you can uh, kind of adjust for it a little bit. I'm not drunk. You're uh, drunk. No, I. Game us. Listen, we're both drunk. I don't know if I said that or if he said that. No, uh, wait. Hold, hold on. Hi. It's okay. Just why did you take a detour? What? Well, we? You led the. <laughs> Heck yeah, I did. I'm a leader after all. Where'd my bed go? Son of a great tracker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what what else was I up to? Oh, hey, nothing like stumbling wasted out of your mind in the middle of the night into a total stranger's house. Hey, guess what? 
Wake up. Uh, listen, lady, I I've had a couple, but I, I know that I have something very important to talk to one of you because I'm seeing three of you. Hello there, what brings you to me? I would like to collect food for Milbor. He prepared a pouch of coins as he always does. What do you mean by that? Um, I was asked a favor by Milbor. He told his son he was collecting food from you. Special diet. I'm guessing that Rasm is busy hunting, so his father sent you for supplies instead. Stinky and full of flies, as always. I know that healthy food can be tasteless, but flies are a bit much. Are we talking about the same thing? The special diet is the name of a bait. A grave of Rasm hunting traps. Slimy old meat, rotten windfalls, stale eggs, and so on. It, wait, what? He's feeding this to his old man? I don't want to interfere in the private affairs of hunters. It would only cause problems for my husband, who is a woodcutter. We prefer it when the two sides don't argue. Are you taking it or not? It'll be five coins. Here are five coins from the pouch. I'm taking the, the this stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. Be well. Also, sorry for getting you up in the middle of the night. Uh, y hi. Why might you be buzzing around here? Oh, you mean at two o'clock in the morning? Half in the bag? Wasted off my face? Yeah. Millibor asked me to collect the medicine and ointment for his joints. I didn't know he was sick. What makes you think I have medicine for him? What? Wait. I thought his son that bought them for me to treat his father. Uh, yeah, because you always give it to his son? When you said in the first place that it was about Radzim. Some honey, a lot of it. I thought you needed to make liquor. Honey is good for treating simple cold, but not much else. So you never had any medication or ointments? I never had such things for sale. I'm neither an herbalist nor a healer. No, you're the apiary lady. Yeah. Wait, he was applying honey to his father's skin? Poor craftsman has been bitten by insects all the time. I don't want to get into the details of what's going on between them. Here are the coins. It's too much. I'll just take some of the coins from the pouch. As for the ointment, I could always try to make something out of beeswax. Wish Millbor good health for me. I need to concentrate on just eating the honey this time. Uh, have a good night, lady. Listen, pal, you're starting to sound like a little blonde bastard with a terrible, terrible mustache that I threatened to put two in the chest of. Listen, man, my vision started to clear up and I got a crossbow. Start talking. Okay, my vision isn't fully clear, but it's getting there. Oh, that is not the way to start a conversation with me, my man. All right, I'll play the even keel. Man asked me to bring some food and supplies because you hadn't had time to do so. I have them. But you owe me an explanation, mister. None of your concern. Ooh, you're going to double down on not the way to talk to me. I always deliver his food at the same time. Apparently he ate it too quickly. As for the smell, everyone has a different taste. Why am I explaining myself to you anyway? All right, thank you for your help. Leave the items here and get lost. But before you go, where's the pouch with the rest of the coins? How do, you, oh, 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 oh. How do you know there's so much money left? You lie to him and take the excess coins for yourself, don't you? You know nothing about us, yet you're quick to make judgments. My father is a mean and envious monster. He can't stand being able to hunt anymore. He won't hesitate to pass the house and workshop onto someone else if I don't serve him. What kind of parent takes revenge on their heir out of jealousy? Are you insane? First I'll ask my mother. She died of fever from a stupid cut in her leg while gathering berries. My father blamed me for it, and that's how I lost him. He spiraled down and stopped taking care of himself. Millibor owes his condition to himself. Even finding a new craft wasn't enough to sweeten his bitter life. You know, I don't even believe much of what you're telling me. I could try to be the nice guy and warn him. That is kind of how I played the blonde kid. 
If you keep deceiving and neglecting your father, you'll soon become as bitter as he is. Do you wish for that? I want to go three, but I'll play it even. No, I'm better than you are not. Listen, I got a lot of bolts on me, pal. Take the remaining coins, bring me some normal food and herbs, and I'll finish my work here. I won't feed him crap anymore. Oh, this oxbow. This is all about redemption arcs, isn't it? Everybody here has a redemption arc. Good decision. Fight hatred with kindness. I'll bring you what you need. I like that. Okay, so meet, meet, <laughs> plantain. Um, I wonder if this is like a herald quest. Can I, can I give you like part now? Hello. No. Okay. Uh, campfire people. Also, it's day three. I've had an interesting. Yeah, that was the line. That was the line. All right, we need one each agriculture. One. 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 Two. Are you really? Yeah. Crap. All right, let's let's just get the hell home. Uh, by now, there's got to be at least a couple of tools we can sell. Maybe we can't sell any bolts or anything, but there's got to be some stuff that we can sell. It's biting cold. It's cold, 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 cold. Okay, we're we're good. We're okay. All right, no stops. Run like hell home. Run away from any bad wildlife because there is a swamp in between us and home. And I'm pretty sure that swamp has wizen and boar. Just get home. Clock's ticking. Uh oh. Just run. Oh, that is exciting music, though. Uh, well, the uh, the update did have what the the bards that sing several songs and. Uh, uh, and they said they updated the music. Oh, I am so glad that we got some survival points. We got 10 extra health and we got more damage mitigation. Okay, seriously this time, I'll see you at home. Okay, back home. Uh, I don't think there's really anything in our inventory that we want to dump off, but we definitely have some stuff that we probably want to pick up. Wait. Quest completed? Huh? Okay. Uh. uh <laughs> Hang on. Right, we're, we're definitely going to have to buy the fish meat. Um. Can I make the bread? Oh, we are light years away from the technology. Okay, so we definitely have to buy that. All right, we need we need some stuff. We need a couple of purchases. Nothing too crazy extravagant, I don't think. Uh, we should be able to snag everything we need in Piastovia, and we should have the money for it. I would have hoped to have had a little bit left over for maybe another pig, but it doesn't happen. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, the cook, right? Yeah, you're the, okay. Right, let's, uh, let's toss a few things here. All right, dried fish meat is 28. All right, yeah, it's going to be half the price. Fifth, okay, all right. It can't be helped. We just don't have the technology right now. All right, so we can dry this out. We run back out there. We can afford the pig, I think. The farm shed is alternating flagging for fertilizer. We do have a little bit of the manure left, and the barn worker is working on it as best they can. Oh crap, we don't have any traps. Our food is, however, just positively rocking right now. 
We don't have anybody on water, but we're still we have enough. We have reserves. Oh crap! There was one other thing that I forgot to mention that I'm sure a couple of you probably already noticed. Yeah, we got the storage shed level two. I have no recollection when I even unlocked it. I'm sure I probably mentioned it when it did get unlocked and then just never did anything about it. But yeah, I was noticing as I was trying to build a lot of the, uh, the structures that I was going after, we were getting really heavy. Yeah, I think it was 500 and it just exploded to, or maybe it was a thousand. But anyway, we were rapidly approaching full and I saw that I could make the better one, so I did. Um, speaking of making the better one, we should actually have... Oh no, it's extraction. Yeah, we can make these now. Um... Uh, not, not right now. We got more important stuff going on. Alright, we've got all the pieces parts that we need. Let's get back out to Klonika and let's get this guy taken care of. And also see what happened to our hunter friend. I'll see you out there. All right, Klonika. Anyone can have a redemption. All right, first off, let's uh, let's deliver this to the punk ass kid. I think he might be on the up and up. At least I hope so. All right, hey man, I got everything that you actually need for your dad. It's good that you're back with food. Here you go. It's everything you asked for. Thank you for all you've done. I've thought the whole situation through and decided to change my ways and show my father that he can count on me. At least my conscience will be clear. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll actually settle as a craftsman in his workshop. You know, you've just restored my faith in people. And possibly myself. Screw revenge. It's time for change. You know what? Maybe I can make this oxbow a better place. Oh, and just two days ago, I started this episode with... What the hell am I doing? Hey. Hey, Wastoid. You awake? My head hurts, but I'm feeling pretty okay about myself. Um. Hey. Look we have here. A local troublemaker. Oh, win some, lose some? What do you mean? Cut it out. I know that you helped some of our people, but that does not allow you to cross the line of decency. What? Oh. What were you thinking? Pouring so much booze in my son's mouth. He's the heir of a village. It made a laughing stock of him. We didn't disturb anybody. Oh, and, and, no, listen, listen. I'm very sorry. I didn't want to damage the reputation. Your words would be nothing to be. There's no excuse for leading my child astray by foolish offering to drink. Listen, he just wanted to talk about living up to his father's legacy in difficult times. Maybe if you were more open to conversation. How dare you to fear my family's affairs? You have no mercy ripping these old wounds open. My son must look forward, not back. He's already dealt with his father's passing, and you've shown up stirred what has already been sedated. Oh, I wouldn't say he's dealt with it. You, oh, listen, lady. Listen, this is probably going to bite my reputation, but you have not done a very good job of this. Your actions will bring pain to our household again. He was mumbling about the forest again, and I'm sure that's your doing. He's gone down the trail numerous times with nothing but regret. The boy should make his decisions without influence of outsiders. His father's gone. You should focus on the living, not the dead. Case closed. I am not your child, lady. Don't ever yell at me again. Uh, hey pal, your mom's pretty bent. In quite good shape, I see. And meanwhile, I feel split up with the axe a few times. I'm sure you are. You don't have anything to drink by any chance? Uh, yeah, I don't have anything on me. Didn't I tell you to bring some supplies? We're supposed to be after the woods, huh? No matter. I'll get something on the way. I'd do anything to lay down for a bit longer, but I heard my mother blow up on you. My brain almost melted. She's furious and obviously overreacting, but that's who she is. Let's get out of here. I'm right behind you, my man. Um, what time is it? Uh, 
my man, it's like three o'clock in the afternoon. To the first location? Uh, she's a narrow vision of what it should become, an ideal replacement for her father. Yeah, your mom... Your mom has ideals and not a lot of observation. Uh, left side of the village, trust future leader. When I express my opinions, my companions ask me if mummy agrees. Oh, yeah, we got a battle axe on our hands, don't we? I owe the last stretch of respect I owe solely to my status. That doesn't do it for me. All right, I can understand that. Yeah, you want to, uh, you want to be able to stand on your own legs and stand on your own reputation. I didn't have many opportunities to talk with my father face to face. Mother always interfered. Uh, I'm seeing a pattern here, my man. The only place where we had conversations, fond memories, but one stands out. He told me he'd been trying to have a child for years. When he almost lost Pope, I was born. Father broke his usually withdrawn character and confessed how proud and at the same time terrified he was when he learned his wife was pregnant. Yeah, that must have been a really special moment for both of you. My bond tightened in that moment. I hadn't seen him have doubts before. We were not different after all, so I decided to become a great hunter like he was. I was devouring his knowledge when my mother wasn't watching, until the day vanished. This place is special to me, although there's really nothing here. I've been to this bench countless times. Let's move on. I'm right behind you, my man. But yeah, I, I can definitely understand that. You must have gone your whole life with him just being impermeable. Flawless. And yet, here he is showing a moment of weakness and showing that, yeah. Did you hear that? Just as like bandits. I was a trail long, some time ago. A few of our hunters spotted them in the woods. What's this? I've set up a camp in my father's former hideout. Oh, buddy, I got your back. I don't want to retreat when we're so close. I haven't set foot inside the hut for years. I'll never forgive myself if we don't explore it again. Prepare your weapon. I'm counting on your help. I'm not going closer. I've never spilled anyone's blood. Besides, bandits don't take hostages, but you... Can you get close enough? There's be something I missed inside. I won't run this too cocky. I'll take a close look. Stay here and watch my back. Don't get caught or hurt. Well... At least I'm not drunk. Two down. Two are pissed. Three away. Well, shit. I remember I used to play this on 300%. Maybe we gotta up that. Bang, bang, bang. There's four. And thank you for food and things to sell because I just realized I left myself completely flat broke. And tomorrow is spring. And oh, by the way, the sun is setting. Okay, we need to find something. Ooh, poison bronze arrows to sell. I don't know what I'm looking for. It's getting dark. There's a ton of cash to be had here, though. Aw, oh, come on, kid. Work with me. What am I supposed to be finding? Money and beer, great. Come on, man, what do you... What do you send me after? Uh, it's six o'clock and I don't... All right, don't panic. Think. It's, it's only two buildings. It's a hunting lodge and a house. What could he want you after? Right, it's, it's looking like we can probably jump and climb up on top of some stuff, but... I don't even know as though that's... Wait, addicts. It's not the first time they've hidden stuff in... Oh, I thought maybe the bow. Uh, the axe? Hey, 
kid, I found something. Truth will back in one piece. I don't care if the dead are alive. I wouldn't like to see them close up near the state. Yeah. Did you know anything about the safe house? Nothing out of the ordinary for one thing. There was a rusty axe hidden in the attic. Show me. Oh, it looks like it's saw some action. And I don't mean wood chopping. On the handle, it looks like blood, blood traces, but it's hard to say. The tool is very rusty, but there's a symbol. It resembles a pig or a boar. It must have laid there for a while. Almost invisible. Is that your father's axe? I don't think so, but it looks very familiar. My lumberjacks use similar tools, but the only person who visited the place besides my dad was his friend Needon. But he would rather lose an arm than leave his axe. That's strange. I appeared inside these abandoned houses several times during my scouting. I suppose I wasn't observed enough, or someone placed it there recently. I'll have to think it over. There's one last place I would like to visit before we return. Come with me. You know what, kid? For you, I'll even break my cardinal rule of not getting teleported. I've got to follow this. Woodcovers of the village would never lose their weapons. They guard them with their lives. Each of them receives their own action when they're strong enough to work independently. Then a worker marks his tool with an animal symbol for luck. Oh, kind of like the, uh, the crests and the placards you can hang on the walls. It's like a rooster and a boar and a bear and a, a badger, I think. All right, my man, what are we doing? All right, we're here. What's interesting about this place? It's just a mine. It's related to my last memory of my father. It's the last place we visited together before he perished. It was a unique moment since he decided to share some stories about his youth. Believe me, he almost never mentioned his past. Being reserved many was, but at the same time, he mentioned his activities with Needham. They were hiding contraband. Oh, who in this town hasn't done something wrong? Everything including hides, antlers, packages, dried meat, arrows, mead. Above all, they didn't want the Castellan's filthy paws touching any of the stock. Listen, this Castellan is a shyster, and I'm being polite. I see the supply shortage crisis reaches much further into the past. Yeah, it's been dragging it for some years now. I wonder if they would think of the current governor of Oxbow. The past seems to be a much more pleasant time to live in. Hmm. There's a lot here. Oh man, I can I can see pieces in all of these. I mean, I mean, is three the redemption? I mean, at the same time, he also likes identifying with his father. Oh, I am real torn between one and three right now. No, it's just your perspective. Those lads were in the same place back then as you are right now, having similar doubts and worries about the future, just like you are. Maybe you're right. I never thought about it this way. I remember there was an experienced craftsman, but they had to gain the experience first. Learn from mistakes, make childish errors. Yeah? That's enough reminiscing. Let's look around. I've been to the cave several times with no avail. You could explore it one more time while I search around outside to keep watch. Oh, kid. It's getting late and I'm definitely getting teleported. Uh, what are we looking for? Cavern stretching before your eyes, welcome to a poor smell of rotten urine. Flames your nostrils. This is a total mess. It's a grand fight for someone or something's life taking place here. Take a step back, there's nothing more to this place. Horrifying howl interrupts your thoughts. Your presence knows an observer is not far behind. Wolves? Wolves! <laughs> Crap. I can't see. I can't have a crossbow and a torch out at the same time. Okay. Panic, eat the plantain. Oh, we put away the crossbow, which means it unloaded itself. Oh, you son of a bitch. Ah, uh, you don't want to come out. Oh, maybe you do want to come out. Listen, if you want to get confused, I'll take you. All right, there's one down. And I am absolutely skinning you. Uh, of course I gotta do this in the dark. That's a good shot. Oh, 
It was only two. For some reason, I was expecting like four. Okay, get out of the cave. That probably was expected to be done melee. Unexpected guests. Filthy mutts are booze better to get touched in the den or else. You speak to my brother. I'm no talker. Um. Thank you, thank you, my friend. What would we do without your aid? Those vermin and nests in our cave for days. Are you on the run? What are you doing here? Get a question is that of course we are. Those beasts chase us out of our own home. We're waiting for the proper moment to smoke them out. So you two morons came out of nowhere. Yeah, watch your tongue. Introduce yourselves now. Forget my brash words and manners. Go to the name of Zenko. That's my grumpy brother, Lemek. Nothing but humble hermits living peacefully in these woods far from the village turmoil. I'm grateful for your unselfish aid, but naturally nothing goes for free, as my mom used to say. Take this piece of bronze. We have no use for pretties like this one. Such a piece. Where'd you get it? We found it under this pile of rocks entangled in scraps and rotten cloth. Nothing valuable worth your time left there. And if you get your reward, leave us be. Scram, you two. What the hell was that? What do they want from you? They seem to be grateful in their own weird way for making the cave safer again. I noticed they gave you something small. What was it? Yeah, a bronze pin. A bit tarnished. Shape. It's impossible. It's a symbol of the village leaders. They've been carrying it on their chest for generations. And so my father went missing. He was in possession of the only pin that I know of. This means it was his. Where'd they get it from? Did they... what did they do to him? The doctor one mentioned this pile of rocks. He said they found it recently. It had no value to them. We have to search through it. Maybe it's something else in the boulders. Let's take a closer look. I don't think you'll be happy with their findings. Oh, pile of rocks. A pile of rocks. They really fell from here by wall, but they seem to have been arranged in the shape of a barrow. Let's just search the gaps here. An old tanned leather. Maybe a remnant of an old contraband hidden here years ago. Push the largest one aside. A few empty bottles. There's no doubt two hermits searched this pile. Let's dig deeper. After a few grabs of your hand, a large bone emerges out of the rocks, surrounded by smaller fragments. And are soon followed by a shoe, fossilized foot still in it, ragged cloak like material. Wrap the remains of the cloak and take them with you. Oh no. And on that note, I will see you in the spring. Thank you so much for joining me in this redemption arc this winter. And I will see you but now-ish. This is Seven. Good morning, everybody.